I have just recently met a uh, bubble shot as well, it took me 3 hours. Alright, so now I am going to re it. Why? So this is all the code and this is the output I had. Right? Um, let me make it that clear a little bit faster. Yes. Actually, So this is the output I had, the bubble shot, bubble shot algorithm simulation, bubble shot simulation in easy words. So now I'm going to recreate it. I already created it, created in three hours. And as I said, I took me three hours. Yeah. <laughs> so I figured out the easy way, and I'm going to code it again. And I'm just going to call it again. So let's begin. So first, I need uh, first you should know the theory, right? The theory is to short to keep in ascending order any table, any set. Let's suppose we you have the set four, two, one at uh, five, three, and five, right? You have these six numbers and you want to short them and after the short this will look like one two three four five and f but how we are going to but how our bubble short is going to work is take first two elements four and two and if the first element is greater than second element then it will swap that swap both so obviously 4 is greater than 2 so they will both get swept and it will our new table will be like this 2 4 1 add 3 and 5 and now they will compare uh, 4 and 1 and obviously 4 is uh, greater than 1 so they will get swept and our table will look like now uh, this our set will look like this and again it will check 4 and add and now 4 is less than add so it will be same and the next in, in the next step now it will of uh, 2 1 4 will be same and it will check 3 8 and 3 now 8 is greater than 3 so it will swap 8 and 3 like 3 and swap and again so this will go on until we get this out right so this is the theory of the bubble shot now we are going to make simulation and uh, I'm going to create um, rectangles a lot of rectangles like you as you as you just seen the output earlier oh right I need an array of uh, 10 rectangles So I need to call wide setup in this processing uh, wide uh, setup when we start whenever application runs so first method setup is called in this processing and after that a method is called draw. I'm not here to teach you about processing let's dig in. So I I am I need a size. 640 and 460 or uh, let's create it 722 no just 800 and 400 simple all right huh. and now i need to generate random numbers for our rectangulars so uh, let's create a loop oh man sorry for the noise background generator is <laughs> oh yes. So rectangles I just uh, random and uh, random we need uh, random values to be height to be height. The 
because there is two noise and now float this random method return the float value so i need to convert it in integer other better but kinaya Starting like this. I got the random values. Now it's time to draw them. So this is my background color dark, dark gray, something like that. And now I need to. I need. Uh, I need what I need. I need what is. I'm creating a variable in. I just want to uh, get the positions, position right. I hope you understand. <laughs> so this will red, very far rectangle is dot land, and I need a x position. To zero, uh, less than first track, start line, uh, first plus. So the rectangles. I need a variable for height, and this will be. Height is uh, actually my rectangle value, uh, which random value generated in the post syntax that will be my height. And now uh, rectangle, rectangle, and now at the x, I need to take the x value and then height minus and it's starting point. And the width should be width divided by rectangular slab. You don't need to understand everything I'm going to do. Just if you can follow this for those. I am getting a call right now. I need to pause this. Uh, there isn't any pausing the button. Like we are going. Okay. Let's get going. So I hope this works. Let's check it out. Okay. Yeah. No. I need to increase my x position with this increment. I created a variable earlier. Yeah. So there are ten rectangles. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go. I think the height is. What are the height is not enough. I guess six hundred. A little bit bigger height. All right. So let's code the algorithm right now, and in the, I need a simulation type. So I'll, this ma draw method is running like a loop. So I'm using this draw method to use bubble short algorithm, and uh, as this query said, first index and then other index, then second second index and third index, then third index and then fourth index like that i need to check there like that so first if uh, index plus one is greater or equals to rack dot land if the our index value is reached to the limits i want i want to reset it to the zero just keep going on forever until our application is running on and if rack triangle dot index 
first index is greater than our, our, if our first value is greater than our second value we are going to just swap this back so if our first index value is greater than second index value we just want to swap then and i'm going to i'm going to create a method swap and i lost two index values over here and into tab equals to rectangle a and uh, rectangles everything equals to oh index will be equals to rect b index and rectangle b index will be equals to tab yep over here we just need to swap them index and index plus one and we need to increment the index like that so that's it i guess it's looking shorter than i thought it before looks like i don't know let's check it out if it's fucking or not i don't know i'm sure it's okay to work whoa it was too quick and a delay method 100 okay, microseconds delay and let's increase the uh, size now we have 100 rectangles and uh, list and this is the simulation of verbal short and this is already too big let's start with the joint t and then we will increase how much i think so these are the sections tiny T rectangles bubble short simulation this is bubble short simulation I just created bubble short simulation in three hours I practiced three hours but how much how much how much time I took I took 12 minute over here and three minutes for the theory means nine or eight minutes I just got it oh yes I'm improving so as you can see this bubble shot simulation let's increase the complex uh, rectangular server let's make it for a 50 uh, run it again all right all right all right sorry for the background now background noise noise right If there were different colors, it will be a good, but I uh, no, I can't make them colorful. There is a limit in the, this processing method, not me. <laughs> All right, okay. Ah. Finally, I did it. So I think we should move this delay. I just remove the delay over here and uh, let's increase these to 200 and let's see the simulation now whoa now we can create a bigger simulation as we want just like we want now this is depend on my processor speed my processor this is this simulation speed depend on my processor how much my processor can take I think it, take, it can take only 200 rectangles simulations bubble short simulations anyway I just done it and thank you for watching this video I hope you like it I hope it was very 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 useful to you I hope you learned something from it and Sorry for my rip English. I'm just trying to improve it. Okay. <laughs> See ya.